a scientist is studying the number of bees and the number of wasps on an island. The number of bees measured in thousands, NB, is modelled by the equation NB equals 45 plus 220E to the power of 0.05T, where T is the number of years from the start of the study. Part A, according to the model, find the number of bees at the start of the study. So at the start of the study, T equals zero. So you just need to change T to zero in the model. So when T is zero, we're going to have E to the power of zero, which is one. So it's just 45 plus 220, which is 265. But they're measured in thousands. The number of bees measured in thousands. So there's not 265 bees. It's 265,000 bees. Part B, we need to show that exactly 10 years, so when T is 10, the number of bees was increasing at a rate of approximately 18,000 per year. So when it's the rate of change, it means differentiation. We want the rate of change, which is dn dt. So we need to work out what dn dt is. So we're going to differentiate. 45 is going to disappear. And e stays the same, but we multiply by the power differentiated, which is 0 0.05. So it's going to be 0 0.05 times 220e power of 0.05t and 0 0.05 times 220 is 11 so it's 11e to the power of 0.05t it's 10 years from the start of the study so t is 10 so t is 10 substitute it in so when t is 10 dndt is 11e to the power of 0 0.5 and we can just type that in the calculator and that's 18.1 18.1 which is approximately 18,000 per year so 18.1 is approximately 18, therefore 18,000 per year. The number of wasps for part C measured in thousands, NW, is modelled by the equation NW equals 10 plus 800E to the power of minus 0.05T where t is the number of years from the start of the study. Again, when t is equal to big T, capital T, there are an equal number of bees and wasps. Find the value of t to two decimal places. So when t equals t, these two are equal. So 45 plus 220e to the power of 0.05t equals... 10 plus 800 e to the power of minus 0.05 t. So we need to solve this equation. Firstly, let's take away 10 from both sides. So we'll get 35 plus 220 e to the power of 0.05 t equals 800 e to the power of negative 0.05 t. Now, the best thing to do, we could rewrite this as a fraction. We could write 800 over e to the power of 0.05t. And that might, might, that might make the next step a bit clearer. We can multiply through by e to the power of 0.05t. We need to multiply everything by e to the power of 0.05t. So we're going to get 35e the power of 0.05t plus 220e to the power of 
well, 0.05t times 0.05t is 0.1t, and that will equal 800. This is actually a quadratic. So e to the power of 0.1t is e to the power of 0.05t squared. It's like a Rx squared term. We multiplied through by e to the power of 0.05t. So it was e to the power of 0.05t times e to the power of 0.05t, which is e to the power of 0.05t squared. So we've got a quadratic. So we're just going to rewrite it equal to zero. And minus 800 from both sides. And then we've got A, B, and C. I don't think it's going to factorize. So we can just go straight to A is 220. B is 35. And C is minus 800. Our calculator will do the work for us. So we'll go to equation, polynomial, degree 2, and it's 220, 35, and negative 800. So our first answer, 1.8229, the e to the power of 0.05t equals 1.829. Our second answer is negative. We're not going to be able to get a negative. There's no, our E graph is never negative. So that's not going to be a, um, a solution. So the 1.988, 1.988, or minus 1.9888 will give us no solution. So we'll just carry on with this one. So what I'll do, I'm going to save that answer into my memory on the calculator. So store A. So it stored it to A. And then menu 1, back to the start. So I've got e to the power of 0.05t equals 1.829. To get rid of e, we do the opposite which is the natural log. So it's ln 0.05t is equal to ln 1.829. And then to get t by itself, divide by 0 0.05. So ln 1.829 over 0 0.05. And then we can just type that into the calculator. So we stored it as a... And it's over 0.05. So we get 12 point, two decimal places, 12.08.